You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benny and Rowe and Lee Robertson. But I had lost total control, just a little bit dribbled out when I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Hello, welcome to Chewing the Cud. So, Lee, what have you got for us in the showbiz this week? I've got some boy band movie news. Oh. Mm. Now, is this is when you say boy band movie news? Do you mean. Or just boy band movie? Boy bands that are going to be in movies. Like porn. No, it's not a trigger. Oh, OK. It's thinking more Bellamy. But on screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us, if you like to. It's at The Could TV on social media, where you can follow us. TheCud.tv is our website. And on YouTube and podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud. And while you're there, hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have shared or liked one of our social media posts scroll along the bottom of the screen, we go over to Mike and the buzz. <laughs> Have you been outraged recently? I live in a state of outrage. I know you do, which is why mm. I'm asking what, what, what's outraged you recently. Just like everything. Um, today, mm. I was outraged by, okay. by, a, by an insensitive, selfish driver okay. on the motorway. So I, he was in the middle lane, which is the overtaking lane. It's not uh -huh. just cruising along. Oh, yeah. You um, move as far left as you can. Mm, yeah, so yeah. And I need, my, my exit was approaching, mm -hmm. and I couldn't get past them because they were doing 65 miles an hour, so I had to speed up a little bit to get past them. And they were like, sat, they knew what they were doing because they were sat there bolt looking straight ahead. <laughs> just that, yeah, I, can't, I just can't. I, yeah. I, you know what I'm impressed of is you doing 70 on the motorway. That is the law. But it's up to 70, yeah. 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 No, not normally the two miles an hour that you do. Oh, you do. I have a different side to me, Mike. <laughs> a multiple sides. <laughs> multiple like sides. A dice. Mm. Mm. Also with a personality disorder. But anyway, um, well, we'll talk about outrage from about chocolate bars. Okay. Have you, if, there was a thought there. <laughs> have I been... No, I'm just like thinking, have I ever been outraged at a chocolate bar? Never. Never? Never outrageous. Okay, major, but... well, this, this one might do. Um, because they've there's been a, a Snickers bar that's been released. It's completely smooth. Or a marathon, as I will always refer to it. Okay, but for everybody else in the world that was born after 1980. Um, so, yeah, a Snickers bar that's completely smooth on the outside, as they've removed the phallic veins. They weren't phallic veins. They were, like, just ripples, weren't they, of chocolate? No, they were veins of caramel. Okay. But people were saying that they looked a lot like, um, yeah, the well, veins on the phallus. It's more like a turd than it does a, a dick, <laughs> I would say. Uh huh. Having had extensive experience of both in your yes. lifetime, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so someone found a smooth Snickers. Okay. And was slightly concerned that, you know, that the, the left had got away with getting rid of the veins off the, the Snickers bar. And Mars basically went, no, we haven't. You've just got a smooth Snickers. We're sorry. So intentionally it's smooth? No. Completely oh, back okay. Manufacturing Oh, blip. just a glitch in the just system. Just a glitch where they didn't add the caramel because it's caramel. Oh, okay. The little veiny bits. So mm. as, they were put, as they were putting the, the caramel on, the nozzle ran out and it didn't add caramel and it got oh, through. Oh, okay. But yeah, people were up in arms the saying... The only thing that's slightly amusing about that story is mm -hmm. um, where it says knickers. <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. The word knickers. Knickers. And the, the people that are opening a, a chocolate bar and going, there's no cock veins on it. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I just feel <laughs> Damn like... you, Mars. <laughs> Damn you. That won't go up. Well, it will go up your ass very smoothly. It would indeed. Mm. <laughs> my, my first anal probe of like, speedy advertisers. Mm. <laughs> yes. Choices. Choices indeed. Um, so, not outraged by a smooth Snickers? No. Would, you wouldn't even notice, would you? No. You eat it like a duck. <laughs> and to be fair, I'm not. I'm not a massive Snickers fan. Really? Why? I don't. I, I like solid chocolate. I don't like because Snickers, <laughs> got, Snickers is renowned for being a liquid. No, <laughs> Snickers has got like nougat, isn't it? Nougat. 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 <laughs> nougat. Um, and and caramel and nuts and stuff. Chicken. <laughs> I prefer solid chocolate bar. So we're talking a galaxy. Oh, or, or, a, the, or a or a galaxy. It's a I, bit sweet. I, 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 you know, I don't. I, you know, Mars bars. No, I'm not so keen. No. What's the other one? Milky Way. Milky Ways. <laughs> <laughs> the musical chocolate. Milky Ways. <laughs> and and finger fudges. No, never gave me a treat. But but bounties you like? I do like a bounty. Now that's not not even a chocolate. It's it's, it's coconut covered in chocolate. Yeah, it's a thin layer though, isn't it? It's delicious though. 
Yeah. Anyway, let's hope anyway. for that, that sponsorship deal from uh, <laughs> <laughs> from the non phallic <laughs> Mars bars. <laughs> okay, shall we move on then? Yes. I'm going to answer one of your life questions. Oh yeah. Just think about some of the questions. Oh, you want you... me to? You want me to ask a question? What kind of life questions may you have? Why am I old? Why am I fat? Well, <laughs> a long answer to that. <laughs> we don't have time. Oh. Um, however, here's a question that what most people want to know: Why is your penis, that's yours, shaped like a mushroom? My penis isn't shaped like a mushroom. <laughs> like a mushroom. My penis isn't shaped like that. <laughs> it's just more of a button. It's more of an acorn. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, so people are asking, you know, why is people it... People were asking, <laughs> people what were people? Asking. <laughs> well, I'll give you a clue. It's on the Metro. <laughs> people were asking. No, they weren't. Some pervy journo sat in there going... <laughs> why is it shaped like a penis? Is... <laughs> Mm. Oh, so, so what were these people asking? Why it is that that mushrooms and mushroom heads and things happen in penises? Yeah. And what is the answer to that? The one answer is that it's genetics and evolution. So it's designed so that when it, it goes in, it causes a seal, so it doesn't just leak out. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. Raw mushrooms and sex. You're not a fan of raw no, people. Are you? Not every... <laughs> Not everybody has a big flaring mushroom head. No, no, but everyone's got that that sort of. <laughs> oh, that just made me tickle. Um, <laughs> Your flaring head made you tickle. Flaring mushroom head. Um, oh, yeah. So what are we where are we going with this? <laughs> okay, now you, you pulled yourself together. So the people are happy now that they found they found out that it's it's evolutionary. It's evolutionary, yes. Okay. Because it, basically they're talking about lots of other penises in the animal kingdom, and oh, they're okay. not all that shape. No, like, they're not. Some pigs have got spiraled penises. Corkscrew ones, yeah. Corkscrew yeah. ones, as do ducks. I uh -huh. found that out quite recently. And ducks um, reproduce exclusively by gang rape. They do. Mm. Mm. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Whereas gorillas have strangely human shaped. Oh, well, we're, we're, we're related to them, aren't we? I know. Quite closely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bobo loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Cocks out, <laughs> out for Harambe. Cocks out for Harambe. If you want to interact with us, and I don't know why you would, um, you can do on social media. It's at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, on YouTube, we are on Chewing the Cud. But now it takes us to story of the week. Do you know who Elon Musk is? I do, but I wish I didn't. Why do you wish you had didn't? Because he's a fool. Why is he a fool? He's just he's just he has far too much money. Mm -hmm. He has he has um what do they call it? What's that complex where people think that they're better than everybody else? Um, is it like Napoleon complex? That's that's short people. He has that as well. He's um, not short though, is he? I don't know. No. Um, I just don't like him. We don't like him? No, I don't like the cut of his jib. Back onto the penis story. We don't know whether he is cut or not. Um, anyway, um, you know he's bought Twitter. Yeah, for 50 bajillion pounds. Yes. Dollars. Yeah. Because mm. that was the bit that he needed to correct. Not the figure. I, do, that, I mean, that <laughs> the just alarm bells are going. Why would you want to buy? Why, 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 why would you want to control things? Yes, the, the thing yeah. I have concern about him doing that is, that, you know, he's saying it's all about free speech. And whether they're going to stop like banning people that are problematic. Um, well, so. to be fair, as long as he puts an edit button on, I'm I'm, I'm happy. Because <laughs> I don't like the fact that you don't have an edit button on Twitter. Just stop making mistakes when you're tweeting. No, you need you need to have that option. <laughs> I feel okay. Um, well, he's basically people started to to mock him about what else he's going to buy. Okay. Yeah. Um, and one of the things that was, was joked about was that he was going to buy Coca-Cola. Okay. The well-known beverage. Yes. Right? And put the cocaine back in. Was he really? It's a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not actually going to... So, joking about putting the co cocaine oh, back in okay. Coca-Cola. Because originally it came with... It did. ...caffeine and cocaine. Mm, those were the days. Which got stopped in 1900. I know. I was so sad. <laughs> <laughs> it was off down pitch. Didn't get me, that, get me through a week, that did. <clears throat> So he's not going to buy Coca-Cola. He's not going to buy Coca-Cola. No. Okay. Um, but the parody account also tweeted about him buying McDonald's so he could fix the ice cream machines. Well. Yeah. Um, but he then tweeted back. Did he try and be funny? He did. Did it not work? Well, it kind of did. What did he say? He said that um, he said 
He can't do miracles. <sighs> yeah. I've seen clips of him dancing and I've gone, no. <laughs> I know he is. He has said that he's autistic, hasn't he? Yeah, I said that, yeah. Which, so I kind of... I, I understand mm. some of the th things that he says and does and things, but it's... He's no Steve Jobs. He's dead, isn't he? He is dead. Is that what you want? No, no, no. no okay. sad. sad because Steve Jobs actually had charisma and presence. Uniqueness and talent. Yes, he had that he too. Did. Um <laughs> A man in his mid fifties rocking a turtle neck, you know. Back onto the penis thing again. I thought you were, I thought you were actually going to read to me that. I'm thinking I'm not wearing a turtle neck. <laughs> wearing a hoodie and a necklace. <laughs> but you just admitted you're in the fifties, but that's all from this week on the buzz. <sighs> It's okay, because we'll just cut that bit out. Nobody will ever know. Thanks for that, Mike. Um, I think we hit an all-time low there. Flaring mushroom heads. <laughs> That's the title of this week's show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it came from your mouth. <laughs> We're talking about things that we wish wouldn't come out of his mouth. We have Leighton the Showbiz coming up next. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the show, Biz with Lee. Are you a fan of Robbie Williams? No. Never. Robin, yes. But not Robbie. Robbie, no. Get not in the bin. Not even in his heyday? No? Oh, well, this will be nothing to you then. So, like a lot of pop stars nowadays, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're going down the biography film route okay. of their life. And Robbie is doing the same thing. Oh. So he, Does he remember much of it? Well, I think there's probably people around him that will probably ring up Gary Barlow and they'll go, you were a dickhead. Put the phone down. You think yes. he'd be that en en energetic about speaking, yeah. Gary Barlow? <laughs> well, well, yeah, Robbie, you're a bit of a dickhead. Anyway, he's, yeah. he's having a, a biopic made called Better Man, which is the title of one of his albums, one of his songs. But apparently... <laughs> that was a, a multivitamin. <laughs> <laughs> apparently he's reportedly struggling to find an actor who he can... He can use to play a younger version of himself. Um, so this is this is. I mean, he was beautiful when he was a when he was a young man. Do you not think? Yeah. That's him now, rattled. That's him, you know, in the sort of like the beginning of Take That. No. In the early nineties. The early nineties. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's he's been holding auditions to try and find somebody who is suitable to play a younger version of him. Okay. Um, but they can't find a match. He's he's like. Tried lots and lots and lots of different people. Mm -hmm. Tried lots of different people. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Um, he's like saying it's difficult to get the project made. And now he's starting to worry because he's like bigged it up and kind of like going, oh, yeah, it's going to be like the biopic of my life and all this, that and the other. Um, and might not happen because they can't find a young version to play. So he's they're, they're kind of like, there's, it's been filmed in Australia. I didn't know that's where he, because where does he come from originally? Stoke-on-Trent? Something like that. Stoke-on-Trent. Australia? Not really the same. No, but it's, it's cheap to film in Australia, though. Oh, OK. You get grants and stuff. Okay, like so Lord of the Rings was in New Zealand. Yeah, right, but... They got shed tons of money to do it in New Zealand. But it doesn't look anything like Stoke-on-Trent. No. No. Quite awful. <laughs> so, yeah. So, the, <coughs> the project... Well, now. Was... I don't live on Stoke anymore. <laughs> no, but, but if it's about his life... Yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah, so the, the project will follow the singer up in his rise to fame and the demons that he battled on and off stage. We've got a picture of... Now, you, does that not do anything for you? No. No? No, because his personality is awful. Yeah, but you, as you said before, you don't need them to talk. I, but I know that he's a knob. Okay. Um, <laughs> it kind of kills it for me. Mm, now, yeah. he was never really... He never really broke America... No, because they've got ears. Um, so they're kind of not sure whether it will be as successful as like the Elton John film or the Queen film. Um, but names that have been put into the mix of, of who could be him. Um, Harry Plastic Styles. Oh. But Harry Styles is mentioned in everything. Harry Styles is mentioned standing for the Queen, if she, <laughs> if she cocks it. Um, Taron Edgerton. I don't think he would do it because he's done Rocket Man. And he's slightly... Too old, I would say, to play young Robbie. No, now. not really. He's kind of like his early 30s now, isn't he, Taron Edgerton? Yeah, and he still looks young. Yeah, but he has to be like a teenager. Um, but, you know, you've seen this person. I have no idea who this person is. Young Blood. Young Blood, yes. Y U N G B L U D. Yes. But now, he actually looks like him. He does. Could be. And he's a massive LGBTQI um, ally. Is he? 
Massive. I don't know who he is. He played Manchester Pride last year. Is he is he a bit rock? Is he a bit grungy? Is 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 modern music? You wouldn't modern like music. It. Yeah, you wouldn't like it. It's oh, it's modern. not. So it's not something it's not, like Kylie. It's not Kylie or Steps. Oh, okay. There's no so dance routines. No, I have no interest. In no, him. no. So yeah, but it's things like um, he actually cancelled a gig. Um, because when he went to one of the gigs, he said, look, the toilets are male and female. Can I have them all as gender neutral, please? And they went, no. And he went, I'm not going to play your gig then. Uh -huh. Oh, well, good for him. Until they turned around and said, yeah, we'll have gender neutral toilets then. Oh, well, good for him. So, yeah. Still don't know who he is, but I, I appreciate the, um, the sentiment there. Yeah. Um, so it could be that, that it, this apparently the film has started pre-production in Australia. Probably end up with, with, with Robin Williams, who's one of those like, Instagram filters over his own face. <laughs> Just Vaseline. Vas yeah. Vaseline on a piece of plastic. Yeah. No, there's no news on who's going to play him as the always older. God, hope he doesn't play himself. That's the height of, of, of ego. Oh, Patrick Stewart to do it. Patrick Stewart. In a really bad dark wig. <laughs> that would be a film I would see. Mm. I don't care who would play his younger person, but I would watch Patrick Stewart do a Robbie Williams do impression. Do a Robbie Williams impression. Um, so from, from Robbie Williams' film to his bandmates. Okay. So they are actually having their film. They're, they're having a film made about their story as well. Could they not just do one film together because well, they were all in the same band? See, this is slightly different. So oh, okay. the take that film is going to be called Greatest Days, and it's based on the um, stage show that came out a couple of years ago, which wasn't about their life... Right. It was featuring their songs. Okay. So if you remember, there was a there was a reality talent show called Finding the Band, which was on BBC One. Okay. Which going really well. Um, was a host on it, and they they were looking for five boys to be in this show. Okay. Um, so it features their music, mm. but is not their life story. Okay. <laughs> so we've got a picture here of the young take that. From, from back in the day. This, is this I believe, is from the Do What You Like video, okay. um, which involved them writhing around on the floor, half naked, with jelly being poured on them. Baby you, oil. Oh, you, you, you're aware of that? I was aware of that. You're aware of that, this yeah. was This was a video that I didn't quite understand. Did you not? No, because it was sort of like pre-sexual awakening for me. Did it make, did it make your pee-pee? No, nope, no tingles whatsoever. No, okay, no. all right, okay. Um, I mean, I looked at it and went, oh, that's new. Mm. Mm. But I wasn't a, I wasn't a huh moment. So that it's was LL Cool J phenomenon. Oh, okay. You're cracking one out to that, were you? Yeah. Um, so the film is going to be called Greatest <laughs> Days, and it's written by Calendar Girls writer Tim Firth. Okay. Um, and it, it features the, the band's biggest hits. I did go and see the stage show, and it basically... Did you have a sleep halfway through? I didn't know, because it was actually, it was better than I was expecting. Oh, okay. It's kind of like, a, it, the storyline follows five best friends, female, who have one sort of like one last night out, as to, because they've grown up, they've moved on in life, um, while at their favourite boy band concert, which is where the... the so it's not plain take that, right. it's like a generic boy band. This is how they kind of look like now, take that, but from kind of a couple of years ago... Um, look at Gary Parlow's face, he's a knob, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> it's, the, it's the smurfer going, I'm uh, worth more money than these guys. Yeah, I write <laughs> all the songs. Um, so, and when he's going, but I fuck... <laughs> that's, that's all he needs to do. So they... So they, they <laughs> he did. He did do it. He did. Um, so <laughs> Is that <laughs> confirmed, or he just... No, it's true, he did. Yeah, after they did Relight My Fire. Okay. Not right after they did Relight My Fire. <laughs> Relight <Really like that, laughs> My Fire. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's based it's based on that stage show and about the, the friends rather than the group. But the group kind of come in and out singing songs and stuff. Um, <laughs> Coming out, Lulu. <laughs> they're going to be played by some new unknown actors. <laughs> Lulu, do shout. Lulu, do shout. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, see, I was surprised because I always thought he was gay. Um, <clears throat> so the, these gentlemen here mm -hmm. are, have been cast to play the boy band in the film. So okay. they're not playing Take That. They're right. playing the generic boy band. Okay. So we've got Aaron Bryan, Dalvin Corey, Joshua Jung, Mark Samaras, and Mervyn Nahora. Okay. Um, and they are going to be kind of like... So it, it's kind of like what happened. It is quite sad. Well, that's that not actual spoiled, stage show. Boo-hoo. Squish, squish. Boo-hoo, squish, squish. Boo-hoo, squish, squish. So, yeah, it, that's going to come out next year. I think they should do like they used to do in the olden days with the charts. I release them on the same day, Robbie, and to take that one and see who gets to the top of the, the olden charts. days in the charts. <laughs> the box office. 
Anyway, last bit of showbiz news. Uh -huh. Big Brother, it's on its way back, man. Yay! So, yeah. I'll say yay. Well, I kind of watched it up until... I didn't. <laughs> I did the exact same thing. Yeah. I watched it right up until I stopped watching, stopped watching it. it. Yeah. When they started putting in people that were so self-aware of where they were and what they wanted to try to get out of it to be famous, it lost all... It was just kind of boring. It was dull. You knew what they were trying to do. Anyway, it's being rebooted by ITV2. It's coming back in the autumn of 2023. Okay. And it's likely that the first choice for host is going to be Rylan Clark. Okay. I'm not who, about that. He, he won that. He won the the celebrity version mm -hmm. back in the day. We've got. I think we've got a picture of Yeah, here he is winning. Um, um, yeah. So it first aired... In 2000, on yep. Channel 4, mm -hmm. continued for 11 series until 2020, then it was, 2010, then it was picked up by Channel 5. Um, so the kind of likelihood is that he probably will be the one that picks it up. Um, yeah, because he was doing um, Little Brother's bit, big, big on the side. On the side. Yeah. But didn't he, didn't he... So Davina McCall hosted it for 10 years on Channel 4 before yep. it went to, to Channel 5. Then Big Brother winner Brian Dowling took over. Mm -hmm. And then he was very quickly replaced by Emma Willis for, in 2013 until it finished in 2018. That is the end of this week's Showbiz Yule News. Ooh, lovely. Well, thank you for that, Lee. Well, stick around because coming up next we have our Game of the Week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to play a game of Fast Ahind. And this one's for you, Lee. So I want you to remove thyself, perambulate away to your special area. Good time. Quicker. Come on. Chop, chop. Goodbye. Game of the Week. So I have a range of questions here. That was very camp, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, range of questions here. I'm going to ask Lee, and he has to try and get the right answer. Are you ready, Lee? I am, yes, dear, yes. I was just having yes, a snooze, dear. but I'm okay now. Oh, all right, then. You don't need one of our special chewing the good tissues? No. Okay, just checking. Okay, so you have a choice of history and religion or geography and nature. Uh, geography and nature. Okay. What name is given to the creature with eyes on the end of each of its arms? Oh, creature with eyes on the end of its arm. Mm. Would you like a hint? Yes. They're made of chocolate. Penguins? No. Something else, chocolate. Starfish. Yes, starfish. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's a gay reference. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it's funny because it's true. Um, so, would you like history, religion, or sports and pastimes? Well, being a being a Catholic young gentleman, um, I'll go for for religion. Okay. Which powerful union leader with mob connections disappeared mysteriously from a Detroit restaurant in 1975? Ooh, was it Truman Capote? It wasn't. Um. He was an author. Was he? A renowned homosexual. Not when I was with him, he wasn't. Um. <laughs> so what you've said there is you've turned Truman Potote. <laughs> Truman Capote straight. Yes. Um, oh, he it, it, it was a gangster, wasn't he? It was, yeah. Can I have another guess? You can have one more guess. Um, oh... A copper. What do you call a copper? Um, oh, no. It's gone. Would you like a clue? Yeah. It's not a heifer. Not a heifer? No. It's a cow. No, it's Jimmy Hoffa. Oh. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Let's, let's move on. You've got a choice between the arts and the music. Or sports and pastimes. Oh, the arts and music. Staying away from sports as long as I possibly can. <laughs> okay. So, according to Homer, what S was the god Apollo's bow made from? 
According to Homer, what S was the what? God Apollo's bow made from. And that's Homer as in the ancient Greek oh, writer, not Homer, not Simpson. Homer Simpson. Yeah. Oh. Um, was it? <laughs> was it? Uh, was it his own sphincteral muscle? It was. Was it? Silver. Oh. <laughs> I was so. I was like, no. <laughs> You're right. No. Really, no. Um, so you have a choice now between sports and pastimes, or pastimes and sports. Oh. Whatever, whatever you feel. <laughs> the same category, so yeah, I'll just go with this one. So, crown green and flat are two main versions of what sport? I think I'll be pleasantly surprised at this, because I think I know it. Okay. Bowling. No. Yes, it is. Crown not, green bowling. And no, 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 no. Not bowling. Bowls. It's the same thing. No, it's not because bo bowling, you, aim, you knock down pins. Bowls, you have to get closer to the jack. No, it's the same thing. Different things. I found it's the same thing. They're different games. It's not, not bowling. It's bowls. So, yeah. Didn't get that one right, unfortunately. Um, so, you've got a choice now between science and invention and entertainment and celebrity. Oh, let's go for entertainment and celebrity. Entertainment and celebrity. Which internet TV on-demand service announced it would commission a third series of Ripper Street in 2013? Ripper Street? Yeah. Um, I did, in fact, watch that, I think. Oh. Um, I'm going to say Netflix. You're going to say Netflix? Okay. But I don't think it was. It was not, no, because it was on Amazon Prime. Oh... Yeah, it's very similar to Netflix. Uh, all right, did you pay for two streaming services? I have net. I have the Netflix. Yeah. I have the Sky. Uh huh. I have the um. I have the Amazon Prime Image. Uh huh. I have the World of Wonder. Oh. Yeah, and I think lot. that's it. Pay for a lot of TV. Um. So science invention is the next category because it's the last oh. category we have, and then you get to pick. Which aid to motorists was invented by Halifax inventor Percy Shaw? I'm going to say the, the driving glove. The driving glove. Or condom, as it's also known. Um, it's actually cat's eyes. Oh. I'm not aware of those. Huh? Did you say you're not aware of cat's eyes? No. And this is why we get worried when you drive anyway. <laughs> um, what, what topic would you like to cover off next? What, what, what are the choices? History, geography, sports, arts, entertainment, and science. Let's go for history. I apologise in advance for the pronunciation. In 1963, Valentina Treshkov became the first woman to go where? Space. So, so you're saying that Valentina Treshkov was the first woman in space? Yeah. Yeah. Did I get it right? Yeah, you did. Woo! Yeah. Do you remember that well? Uh, yeah. 1963. I do. Yeah. Like it was yesterday. Yeah. All my trouble seems so far away. Mm. What would you like to have a go of next? Um, let's go for entertainment. Okay. In World Cup cricket, the eight teams that qualify the final playoff are known as the what eight? That's not entertainment. You're right, it is, and I picked up the That's wrong That's sport. Card. It is sport. I don't do that. You got the sport one wrong before. You might get this one wrong as well. What, what, what was it? What was the boring question again? In World Cup cricket, the eight teams that qualify for the final playoff are known as what eight? The Fantastic Eight. Got that right. Did I? No. No. <laughs> it's the Super 8. Super <laughs> 8? The Super 8. The Super 8. Super Dupers. Oh, okay. <laughs> I nearly said the Slack 8. Mm. <laughs> That's a story about my life. Yes, it is. <laughs> what type of animals are Pinto, Halflinger, and Waller? Pinto. Halflinger. 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 Her birthlinger. Curve. Earthling flag flinger. But her flambendinger. 
I'm going to say horses. It, they are horses, yeah. Do you like my Moira my Rose impression? I, well, yeah, it was very good, mate, yeah. Thanks. Well done. I like the lies. Um, should we do entertainment and celebrities since you asked for it? I'll go for it. Okay. On what date in 2013 was Prince George Alexander born? I don't know. Is he is he is he one of William's kids? Yeah. Um fourteenth of December May. No. Twenty second of July. Oh. Uh, would you like some music? Would I like some music? Oh yeah, always nice to have a tune. Do 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 do. Who CD released in 20, 2001 on the Hut label is entitled Rotten Apples. Rocking Apples? Rotten Apples. Rotten Apples. Rotten Apples. Apples of a rotten nature. Oh, I don't know. Is it Cascada? Yes. Well, it's not that. Who was it? Cascada. No, it wasn't. Hey, it was Smashing Pumpkins, but yeah. Oh, never heard of him. Never heard of Smashing Pumpkins. I have, but I don't like him. Go into the country, gonna eat me a lot of peaches. Okay. Yeah, and it's, that came out long before the emoji, which meant something very different. Anyway, um, yeah, that's that's enough for this. Is that enough for that? Yeah. Bored. I, I, I won some, I lost some. You lost a lot. I think it's the taking part that counts. Said every loser ever. But coming back after this break, we have our Crafty Queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time we celebrate all things mundane as we go to Lee and Crafty Queens. And by mundane, you in fact mean amazing. Yeah, because that's why I said amazing rather than mundane. So yes, we're going to add to our menagerie of tat that we have created over the many centuries of doing this feature. In about a year. We've had foxes, we've had hedgehogs, we've had rabbits. We've, we've lost the will to live. We've lost the will to live. But today we're going to make a parrot. Yeah. Because why not? So before you have the accoutrements um, to create a parrot, um, what I'm going to suggest is, is that you should, you should have two little bits of pipe cleaner. Yes. Yeah. They, those are going to be its legs. Okay. So I think we'll glue those on first because right. we want them to, to glue to dry. So put it with your trusty glue gun. Uh huh. Little bit of glue. Oh. Um. <laughs> You've burnt yourself already. No, I haven't. They slapped onto the table. Um, onto the end of the glue gun, and you're going to stick it on the on the inside of the half of the. Uh, oh! Oh, that's hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like doing this thing. Um, on the inside of the half a Pringles tube. Do they have to be Pringles? It doesn't have to be Pringles. Any kind of, any old tube will do. Okay. Any old tube will do. I'm actually putting the glue on the inside and then putting the thing on because that way I do not burn myself. Okay. Just imagine not to burn myself. Okay, so you've got. Do they need to go next to each other, or? Well, yeah, kind of like little a little thing apart like that. Oh, okay. Me, 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 me. Um. Well. We're gonna we're gonna bend those in a bit, but we just want them to be on and glued. Okay. Might need to put a bit more glue on there. Okay, so you also should have a long strip of coloured paper. I do. I think yours is purple. Mm -hmm. Maybe mauve. Legs. Yeah, that is, you're going to wrap that around. So what I would do is put glue at one end on, along one edge. Okay. Do, 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 do. And um, stick it at the back. Ow! Why is hot glue so hot? Um... Homophobia? Yeah, they don't. It doesn't need to be that hot. The thing but yeah. is, you, you wanted the hot glue guns. I did. Um, so yeah, you, you 
glue it and then you wrap wrap it round so it's covering your tube and then you put a bit more glue on that edge do, 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 do. sit that would you like would you like some facts about parrots mike i would yes they are birds okay and that is all um it is it's just come to my attention that i was going to prepare some facts about parrots prior to this episode of crafty queen and i have forgotten so i may have to improvise by making them up okay so yes there are many kinds of parrots <laughs> you have the the white ones i believe they're the norwegian blue is that a parrot it is lovely plumage a, 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 a macaw a tufted you didn't get that joke then did you Lee no Norwegian blue has got lovely plumage no is that Monty Python oh no I didn't get that next parrot okay. but parrots are one of the most intelligent creatures on the earth only only second to to monkeys and dolphins right um, so if you want to locate the two little wing type shapes, I think yours are red or yellow. Okay. Is okay. that what these are? Yes. Bit of glue on the white side. Oh, and you're going to put one either side of ah, of the tin. Bit better the tin then. Really? It is really hot. I don't think the inventors thought this through when they invented these things. I think they did. They did it just to upset you. Yeah. Interesting place. Right, okay. Um, then you should have a... What? It's not, not what you told me to do. Yeah, that's fine, Mike. It's fine. It's fine. Um, you, have a, you have a tail. Long one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Bit of glue. Um, now, what I'm going to say... Right. I would bend the end <laughs> of the, the short end... So you've got a little bit of a flap. Uh -huh. Put your glue on the flap. <laughs> and then stick it that. It's going in the, in the back of the container to create like a tail. Now, parrots need feathers. Okay. So you have a, you have a selectione uh -huh. of, of feathers. That, there's short ones, there's long ones, there's little chubby ones. There's a lucky one. Um... You can glue just just go for go for go for whatever and glue them to the wings and the tail. Um, parrots can live till they're quite old. They can. They can, many years, in fact, which is what people don't always realize when they get a parrot. When they get a parrot. Um, I have a story about a recently rehomed parrot. Oh, please tell us. Would you like me to tell it you? Oh yes, please. So in um, Milton Keynes. Oh, well, okay. I know, beautiful place. Um, nice if you like a roundabout. There was a, um, a parrot who, whose owners had very sadly died. Oh, The parrot killed him. And he was... Um, this parrot needed to be rehomed. And Joey, you know, he'd, he'd become... Parrots can become depressed. Like like humans, mm -hmm. parrots can become depressed. They can suffer when from mental... When crafty queens. It's mental health issues. You wouldn't have thought that in a parrot because they're very social creatures. If you don't have that interaction, they become depressed. Anyway, this parrot yeah. uh, becomes so depressed, it started plucking its feathers out. Okay. Which is quite sad. Yeah. Um, so the RSPCA, who were looking after it, were desperate to find it, you know, because they needed, they needed to be in a home where um, there was people that it could socialise with. So they did find a home for it. Uh, uh, a newly married couple. Oh, look at that. Oh. Sorry, I was just distracting myself by the beauty of my uh, my homosexual parrot. Um, they, they did find this parrot a home. Okay. Um, and um, within a few days... It had started to cheer up, and it was only then they found out. And he was going to say that it wasn't in front of parrot. It was a small elderly man. It wasn't <laughs> the, <laughs> called Frank. Um, no, it was. It, it was. Um, it, so it had a very rude mouth. So it stopped talking because it was depressed. Right. But as it became less depressed and more comfortable, it started swearing. So right. it, it would tell. It would tell its own <laughs> off. Stop talking because it was depressed. Right. But as it became less depressed and more comfortable, it started swearing. So right. it, it would tell. It would tell its own <laughs> Um, that which is, is, is you know. Not the best. You don't really want that. They didn't have any children, thankfully. But it um, would call the, the woman darling. So you go, you're right, darling, when she walked past. Okay. And with the husband, who was a, um, 
computer game spam, it would um it would it would wind him up by when he was sat playing on his Xbox and he died, he would like go laugh and go in something or other. Alright. Um actually what they did. They ate that parrot for their Sunday lunch. Oh, okay. They didn't. They learned, they learned to love him. He would like go laugh and go in something or other. Alright. Um and do you know what they did? They ate that parrot for their Sunday lunch. Oh, okay. They didn't. Uh, I've stuck feathers on these wings. Have you? And have you stuck feathers on the tail? No. Come on, Mike. That's not the first time someone said that. Once, once you have glued on your tail feathers. Uh huh. Then you've got a little tiny beak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I've been told. Um, you can glue that on. Oh, a little beak, and then I have provided you with the obligatory googly eyes. How do I attach this beak? A little bit of glue. Ah! You, you see, you did that on purpose I to distract did. me and it burned. I just wanted to know how I attached the beak. Um, a little bit of glue on the flat side, and then... Oh, f no! oh. <laughs> it's f***ing scalding hot, this! Crafty queens do this, Lee. Use f***ing red hot lava. Why don't you? In fact, just jump in the nearest volcano. Um, it's cooler. You asked for glue guns. I know. You said, where are the glue guns? So, <laughs> so that outburst. Once, you, once your face is glued on, you just kind of turn. I've dropped an eye. You've dropped an eye. Oh. Oh, that's right. I've retrieved it. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Bends its little legs in... in a circle, kind of, and then you can put it on your hand. Look at that. It's like you've been it's like you've been to the Amazon. Yeah. What did you do in a What did you do? What did I do in a previous life to deserve this? Uh, there we go. I think I think you'll agree that is that is one of the finer examples of Crafty Queens. That's the sad thing about it all, Lee. It is. If you can't get yourself any peen or any drippy vagine, be a crafty queen. Aren't you queen? On my shoulder. It is. Oh, it's fallen off. Let me glue that up for you. Let me glue that onto your shoulder for you, Lee. It's a polygon. <laughs> still. Don't you touch me with that. <laughs> You say that's all the boys. <sighs> so yeah, this is this is the thing that's really distressed me most about this mm. is that you've not even wiped out the tube of triggles. That's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and of course on YouTube and podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud. Um, yeah. So thank you for watching. I'm not sure why. Um, I will see you all soon. Bye. Bye. Wah. 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 Wah.